Today we're making winter wonderland themed DIYs. Keep watching. I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own DIYs. The first project is going to be a winter ladder. I have some of these snowy willow picks from Dollar Tree. Some snowy picks that I don't know where I got them from. And these two little cardinals, they have a little bit of a different position and they came from Dollar General. Some zip ties and a wooden ladder that I thrifted. That wooden ladder is about 30 inches long. I'll start this very easy project by putting down one willow pick. I'm leaving the entire thing together, not cutting it apart. Surprise, surprise, same here. Whole pick. This is such an easy project if you've got a ladder. So easy. Going to use a zip tie, go around the back, pull it through till it's tight, and it's sitting right on the front facing of the ladder. You can cut off that extra, and then we're going to do the same thing in the opposite direction, almost like making a swag. So I'm just going to kind of feed this up through here, and then we'll add the next snowy pine pick right on top with another zip tie. You can get zip ties from Dollar Tree and you can get them from lots of different stores. I'm going to fluff out these willow branches under here just a little bit, just to kind of splay them out, give it a little more dimension because we love dimension, don't we? We don't want anything flat. We want something to be interesting to the eye. I'm going to do the same thing up top, just going to kind of move it around a little. Then I'm going to place my birds on the ladder. They're taking a little shelter on the ladder. So I think I want this one in the center piece. Or the, well it's not the center wrong, but we're going to put it in the center of this step on the ladder. Hold it there for a minute until it is firmly attached. Now I'm using Gorilla Glue here. So you want to use something that's got some strong bonding. So it doesn't come off. Ideally, I would like to be able to put this on my porch or hang it on my porch. So I want something that's not going to come apart in the elements. I'm going to put this one right here and turn him just a little bit. So the opening there, I left open in case I wanted to do something different, but I decided another pick here would be the perfect thing. So I just cut the end off, laid it kind of sideways, and I'm just going to zip tie that down right in the middle. Now, of course, if you want to put some snow on the steps, you can certainly put some snow on each of the little steps of the ladder. My husband suggested that after the fact, and yes, that would be the perfect thing to do, um, is to add some snow to those steps. But whatever you want to do, you can make it easy. I think this looks totally fine as it is, but that's up to you to make it your own. Whatever you like, go ahead and do it. You can add some berries in here. You can use a little hot glue if things are getting out of control. You could put a nest in there. However you like it, it's going to be the perfect way to bring you some joy. The next project is going to be Frosty's Hat. I thrifted this little basket hat, basket weave hat, I don't know. It's like a bluish black color. And um, we're going to just deconstruct it because I like the bones of it, but we're going to change it a bit. So just remember what it looks like now. I'm going to cut the hat band off and when I pull the glue it does leave a little spot there but that doesn't matter. It has quite a bit of dust on it um, so when I do baskets and wreaths that are dusty I just take a big brush and just brush at it and it gets the dust off of it and you wouldn't believe the dust that falls off. Look at this table. Look at all that. That came out of that hat and of course the one little strand of paintbrush. Okay, so I saved styrofoam. This came in a, um, a table box. I'm going to use my little knife from Dollar Tree, my styrofoam pool noodle cutter. It works really good. I thought at first, you know, that is so gimmicky, but it really does work nicely. I'm going to cut enough foam to put in the bottom. It's not quite tall enough, but I got it the width that I want it, but it needs to be taller so that it sits right at the top. And I was making sure also that you can't see that foam through the, the weave. So I'm just going to keep kind of chopping away until I get the right, I guess, thickness to go on top of that. 
and then I'll fill in on the sides with a little bit of foam. You don't have to do this neatly. It's not important because this is going to be covered up with um, something else. So it's totally fine. A little hot glue, you can put that together and then shove some pieces inside. It's nice and tight. Didn't even have to glue it. So I'm gonna take a piece of this, um, I think it's like a snow sheet. You know, you use it for decorations. I'm gonna cut a circle out of it that will fit the size of the top of the hat. You can flip your hat upside down if you find something like it and uh, trace on it and then tri you know trim it out that way if you would like. I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue right on the edge here to put that snow down because this top of the hat is going to have like a snowy appearance. And you could use a white uh, piece of felt maybe for this. The thing that you would need to make sure of is that the weave is not too thick that you can't puncture a hole because we're going to be placing florals in here and you want to make sure that you can actually get the wires from your floral down in here. If you can't though you can always get like a, a metal skewer or something and poke the hole in it and then put your greetery in it with a little hot glue. So there's some options for you. So I have this piece of thrifted garland. It's got like a silvery um, glistening kind of look. It's, it's very mellow though, not really loud. I'm going to pull those pieces off of the garland and then I'm going to cut down a piece of ribbon because I want to give him his hat band back, but I don't want it to be that traditional plaid. So I'm going to use some of my wax here, antiquing wax, and then brush it onto this black. When you add this brown on top of this black, it gives it a warmer toned black. And for my decor, it just gives it a better look. This is not necessarily to age it, to make it look aged. It's just to give it more of a rustic look, more of a brown toned black or a warm toned black. You see, it does make a difference. I don't have to do the bottom. No one's going to see it. And you're just going to continue all the way around with this until you get all of your color covered up. You can get little um, snowman hats lots of different places and you could certainly feel free to use something that came from St. Patrick's Day maybe or you know a different holiday a New Year's you can get hats or whatever you could use something like that if you wanted to so just because you don't have the exact same thing is what I'm saying you can kind of apply it to to what you're seeing here on a different scale so I'm gonna wrap this hat band around. I want that threaded side up and the rough side down so that you won't see it. All we'll see is the finished product, which will be the nice, neat trim on the top. And so now he has his hat band back. And I'm gonna start adding down this greenery. I'm just gonna use some hot glue. You can see in here, I don't know if it's because it's garland that it, like one side of the greenery actually is sort of flat and the other side is um, more elevated so I'm going to flip it so that the flat side goes down against the brim of the hat because that's where we're gluing it to the brim of the hat not to the the tall part of the hat lord anatomy of a hat I have no idea what the pieces are okay so what I'm doing is adding like two and then one then two and then one and I'm going back and forth gives it a little bit of a variety and it doesn't make everything look so matchy matchy it's rustic you know it's rustic it's woodland it's winter wonderland we want to give it that movement and that feel of being kind of wild and out in nature and so we're almost done with this and i encourage you to use some leftover picks for this you don't have to use all the same thing use whatever leftovers you have from christmas and tuck those in there can you imagine some of that fern in there that would be really pretty too but i'm using what i have like I said, to make these winter wonderland pieces. And these are some of the pine cones that came in there. They also have a little silver on them. If you get these pine cones on projects and you wanna take them off and reuse them, it's just a piece of wire wrapped on the inside. You just cut it and then untwist it. Very easy. It's just looped around it one time and then twisted. And then that's how it's put on the decorations that you, know, you might thrift. So I'm gonna use hot glue. I don't want those wires scratching up my table. I'm gonna use the biggest of three, put it down first, then I'm gonna take the medium size one and put it down next, kind of right beside it. And you know, I pick these up and look at it before I actually glue it. So I know in mind how I want it to be. 
a lot easier that way than having to go back and fix it. So since I've run out of brim over here, I just put the glue in the little, um, the sides of the pine cone and then stuck it into the sides of the other one. It fits like a puzzle, it's perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the top part of it and then I'll go kind of back and forth on the top, on the sides, you'll see how that's gonna work. These little pigs look like little greenery trees to me. So I'm just using them as trees. I'm just picking some pretty ones that have a good shape, that have that kind of a teardrop shape to put there. I'm going to use a little bit of that willow over there near the pine cones. That's gonna be almost like the feather in the hat. Then I'm going to make a bird nest. So I'm gonna take some of this berry garland, I guess is what it's called from Dollar Tree. You can get this all the time and in a bunch of different colors. Usually uh, the colors go by season. So you'll get more orange, like in the fall, and then the reds and silver and stuff like that. You'll get closer to winter time or Christmas time. So all I'm doing is a start off in the middle with just two loops, and then I'm going to expand the loop outward like a swirl. So the diameter is gonna get larger and larger as I go. Round and around, and I know this looks boring, but there's method to the madness. See, I want this to be, I'm pushing upward, and I want it to be in that shape of a nest. Round and around, and then you can just twist the tail around and then manipulate the little strands so that you get it into the right shape that you like. And I'll put it right there. It's a good place for it. I'm gonna use some of these floral pins and just push these down into the snow and the foam and it goes in there perfectly. And you can get those little floral pins any place I think that you can find crafting supplies. I did not get mine from Dollar Tree. Mine were thrifted, but I know you can get them pretty much anywhere, and I can't imagine they would cost that much money. But they are very handy to have for some projects. So now the bird, it's actually a bell, but his bell is broken. He is glued down. We got a little cardinal right there in his nest, or her nest, whichever one. Then you can begin to cut your picks apart. You don't have to leave your picks in, in one piece. Cut them into pieces to suit what it is you need. So now these look like little trees. All the leaves are gone for the winter time and they're just branches sticking up there with a little bit of snow on them. And I think that texturally, it really does something to the piece because it's more of a woody look and then you've got the little trees beside it and they're so full and green and lush. And it just reminds me of winter time. So in these little bags of assorted scatter you can get from Dollar Tree, there are a couple of different types of things you can use. So I was just kind of digging through there to see what my options were. And I found a little strand of this white pit berry. So I decided to use it almost like a little bud branch too. And then stick it with the trees. And then another piece I put with the pine cones and our little willow feather. And then there was a little piece of pine in there. I put that in for a little bit of a different look. You know, we're in the woods, you don't just have two types of trees. There's all kinds of stuff out there. So these little, what are these? I don't know, but they look like little flowers to me and I really like them. I think they're pretty. I'm gonna add those here and there around the pine cones on the brim and I'm also gonna put them around the bird and on the platform, you know, just wherever it looks cute, wherever I feel like I need a little extra something. There's also little pine cones in there. So I'll add some of those little snowy pine cones here and there. I know y'all, some people say I just do too much. I just kill it, I should have stopped four or five steps ago, but that is just not my nature. It isn't my nature. But I do highly recommend you do what is best for you. You can't tell people that they're doing something wrong just because that's not the way you would do it, you know? We gotta be kind, not critical. Let's be kind and supportive of everybody's crafting. Just like when you ladies send me, and gents too, if a, if a gent's going to show me a picture of his crafts. But um, you ladies like to share your crafts with me and you email them to me and I love it and I love looking at them and they're all beautiful in their own way and they're so unique because everybody does it differently. That doesn't mean they're wrong, right? It just means they're different. 
Different's good in my opinion. So I'm just tearing some more pieces off here and just placing them around in the greenery. Ugh, I love this piece. I love this piece, y'all. I really do. And I hope that you like it as well. The next project is the Winter Barn. This is another easy one. So I've got this little barn that I thrifted, kind of dusty, needs a little cleanup. And uh, it, it says celebrate it. Isn't that like a Michaels brand? I don't know. But um, yeah, I got it thrifted. We're going to change it up. Right now, it looks like it might be okay for summer or fall, but I'm going to change it and make this a winter thing. Consider that when you have other items in your home that you, you think that you can't use, but you'd really like to use and give it some new life. Go ahead and find what you already have. And I know you can get like little barns and little buildings, little at Target Dollar Spot, you can get them at Dollar Tree all the time. Whatever you find, whatever you want to, if you want to flip something, you know, I've flipped birdhouses before that I thrifted. So just whatever is good for you. Okay, so now going on, I'm going to use this Mod Podge, paint this along all over the roof, leaving some spots thicker than other spots. I'm going to go around the bottom. I'm going to also get the edges there. You, you don't see that right now, but I do get the edges. And I'm going to put this on areas where frost or snow might collect. Again, this is my imagination because I live in South Alabama, so how would I know? Oh, okay, the power of TV, right? That's how I learn. That's how I learn. I watch it. I see other people. I hear other people talk about it. The fun part, we're going to take our snow mixture. Now, I just use regular old Christmas snow for this and then table salt, plain table salt. Mix them together and it gives it that smart, that sparkly effect. And it just looks snowy and icy to me. I do know what sleet looks like. Okay, so we're gonna tap it off. You can leave it on there longer before you tap it off and that'll give you a, you know, that'll, if it's dried, it'll hang on to that a little bit better. But I'm, for purposes of making videos for you guys, I'm just gonna, kind of rush through that part so that you can get the idea of what we're doing. Patting it down wherever it needs to be patted down. And I think it's cute. So far, that's good, right? Go back along, look at it. If you need to add any more, you can go ahead and add some more at this point. If you don't find it until later, you can always go back and add it then. I left the fingerprint somewhere and I went back and fixed it. Um, toward the end, so no worries about that. See the fingerprint in the top? Yeah. So I'm gonna use a wood slice, and I've put some, a thick layer of Mod Podge underneath, and then what you see now is the snow that I put on top, a thick, thick layer. I'm pressing it down into there because I want this to have pretty good solid coverage. And then I'll just uh, turn it over and tap that off. And again, you know, when you use snow, you can always put your remnants back in. So I'll take that tray, pour it back in the bag. I wanted to leave the wood edge clean, that uh, bark edge clean. And then I can decide kind of how I would like for this to be. Now, I'm being really ginger about this because it's wet. The snow is still wet underneath and on these items. So I'm trying to show you <laughs> without making a big mess. But you get the idea when it dries, right? And you certainly need to give it time to dry before you start doing anything to it. I have a strand of icicle garland that I've had, that I crafted with last year that I got at the thrift store. And I always save stuff. So these are just remnants and I'm cutting off all the short icicles and putting the large ones to the side for another project. These little short ones are going to be used with a little bit of help from hot glue and these are gonna be the icicles that are hanging off the roof line of our little barn. So I know you can't see what I'm doing, except, you know, that's what it looks like. You add a little hot glue on the top and stick it straight up into the top. I just hold it for a second. They don't weigh very much, so they attach pretty quickly. If you do not have little icicles, you don't have to put them on yours, or you can make some out of felt or you can make some out of hot glue and a silicone mat. I've seen people do that. I've never done it, but you certainly can do that. And you can just make your own. And that would be easy to do, I think. So when I can leave them in sets of three, I leave them in sets of three. Sometimes I have to do just one at a time. But you see, I've got them. 
I've got them on there. It looks cute. I think that addition really made a difference. I wish that thread wasn't in there, but it is garland, so that's how it works. All right, so if you enjoyed these projects, if you could give me a thumbs up, that is a huge help. You can always glue these pieces down if you would like to, but I'm going to leave mine alone. I'm going to take them, set them aside, let them dry, and then put them together. Here are the three projects. I went ahead and added a little light back there in that barn so you could see it. I think this is my favorite of the three. Frosty's hat. Very full and lush and winter wonderland looking. And then the ladder also. And we got the cardinals which are near and dear to my heart. It's that time of year. It's winter time. Lots of holidays have happened in the winter time. And we start thinking about people that and, and our fur babies that are not here with us anymore. And we'll go into a new year and have new experiences with new people we bring into our life. And it's just a reminder, it's just a reminder that we're never alone. I want you to get creative. It's winter time and I wanna let y'all know that if rustic, woodland, uh, winter wonderland is your thing in the winter time, then you are in the right place because I'm gonna show you how to do it on a budget and I'm gonna show you how to do it uniquely so that it's something that you love. I want to inspire you. I'm not telling you to do things any particular way. When you subscribe to this channel, I do my best to help you out. If you have questions in the comment section, you can email me. All that information is in the description box below. Can y'all believe we have reached over 3 million views on this channel. 3 million. So a huge, huge thank you goes out to everybody who has watched my videos and subscribed to the channel because people are noticing and I think people are liking our community here. Everybody is so nice and kind. I really do hope that you can go out and find some joy in your day. Tell somebody you love them. Tell somebody that you're grateful to have them in your life. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.